Hey guys. Uh, I'll be installing a, a pink suede chef boot on my WX today. I ordered it from Billet, Billet's Works. Billet's Work. Uh, but apparently the company is from Stitch Boots. And yeah. Well, let's see how easy this can be and how difficult this can be. You and I will figure it out together. Yep, brush that off. And then, what do you know? You need screws. What do you know? What do you know? So I guess I won't be able to do that until I have screws or a screwdriver. Hey everyone, so well, it's the next day and I got my little handy dandy tool. So we'll be unscrewing everything. So, so you just take out the four little screwdriver screws on the bracket right here. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then this whole piece will come off your lovely uh, leather-ish uh, shift boot. And as you can tell, I'll just leave this one down here. It's just being held by these little tabs. So once you just pop them off, it just comes right off. How very exciting is that? And then you, once you take it all off, I don't know what you want to do with this. Keep it or whatnot if you're going to sell the car later. And you just reinstall your new shift boot. And it's basically the same step, but reverse. You just put these little holes through these uh, clip things. And there's only two cut, two circle cuts for these two. And yeah, I'll be right back with you with the finished product. Oh, so it's my bad. So it's these sides. The so the bottom side, the side that will be facing towards you. These go in the little circle things. And yeah. There you have it. So you clip everything in, it's a little hard, just press it through the brackets. And this was this is your shift boot. So remember you have four screws to put in, so Let's do that now. And if people are asking why I got pink uh, suede instead of like uh, cream or uh, the GTI uh, plaid, which I kind of really wanted. I like the GTI plaid. I like GTIs. It's because I have this uh, teal blue shift knob. And I think teal blue would work well with this setup. So let's just snatch that in. Ooh, just pop, 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 pop. There you go. So you got a nice pink shift boot from Switch, no not Switch, Stitch Boots, feels nice and comfortable and you just roll your thing on. And there you have it. You have a custom shift boot, easy install and it looks nice with uh, contrasting colors, great company. I'll probably get another shift boot that's the GTI because I kind of like this a lot. And just making sure, stitch boots. Sometimes I fumble the words and no one really likes fumbling words. And yeah, I will say it's a little, a little loose down here. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see my bed. A little loose down here, 
compared to the OEM shift boot that was pretty snug because it was able to retain the, the original feel or because it didn't stretch out that much compared to the suede but I mean you're not really gonna touch it it's suede it still follows Yeah, it just makes your car pop out a little bit more. I would say overall this install was very easy. It took me like three minutes to do. If you have the right tools, which is your hands and I don't know, a multi-tool with a a screwdriver. I don't know why I forgot what a screwdriver was. But yeah, easy to do. Just remember, take your time to not over tighten your screws and you'll be good to go yeah other than that that's it and hopefully by the time you guys finish watching this video you guys know what to do and if you have any questions or concerns please let me know i'm trying to get better at this youtube thing it's just for fun and for me to just like log in maybe what the heck is that to log in what I've done and to reverse what I've done if I made a mistake. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. 